A deadly DUI crash case is one step closer to coming to an end. A former reality star pleaded guilty in Virginia Beach Court this morning. Melissa Hancock was driving the wrong way on I-264 when she hit another vehicle head-on, killing the Coast Guardsman driver. Then your science, Jason Marks, is live from court now. And Jason, we're hearing from the victim's wife for the first time. You know, Tom, we talked with Daniel Dill's family just after this crash happened, and Natalie, his wife, was not yet ready to go on camera and talk about her husband. Well, today she wanted to open up and let everyone know what she lost. How do you forgive someone who took something, you know, so precious from you? Natalie Dill says she hopes someday that will change. For now, she's just waiting for justice in her husband's death. She took everything from me. My best friend in my whole life will never grow old together, never have children. Dill's husband, Daniel, was killed last November. Daniel was on the way to pick Natalie up from the oceanfront. She was out celebrating her birthday with friends, and he wanted her to get back safely. He never made it to her. We were together for eight years, eight really good years. Dill's car was hit head on by Melissa Hancock. She had just left an oceanfront bar and was drunk behind the wheel. She was going the wrong direction on Interstate 264. Natalie was forced to take her soulmate off life support at the hospital. To watch his body just like fall apart, replays in my head all the time. Hancock had a blood alcohol level of 0.19. Dill's family says that should have never happened. An Uber cost five ten dollars Lyft. There's so many options nowadays that this this should not be occurring ever. Dill spent 11 years in the Coast Guard. There's not a day his family doesn't think about the loss. Dan was like a son to us. He was part of our family. And uh, if, if you looked in the dictionary under, under the, the definition of what a son-in-law should be, it should, Dan's picture should be there because he was he was the perfect son-in-law. And Hancock will find out her punishment in October. She'll be sentenced October 4th. That date coming up, obviously, can't come soon enough for the Dill family. Now, coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6, we will tell you about Natalie. She has something around her neck that she carries a piece of Daniel every single day. That story coming up in about an hour. Live in Virginia Beach, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.